Hi guys, Jen Pelfini here with Pampered Chef, your consultant. Um, I found a recipe online today that I want to try. And I have some mahi-mahi um, around, so I was thinking of making some mahi-mahi tacos. Or maybe just serving the mahi-mahi um, with um, this particular avocado lime, cilantro, um, guacamole type of thing. Um, with the with the mahi mahi anyway so i'm gonna cook my i'm planning on cooking my mahi mahi on my large bar pan so i'm gonna do that in a separate post and i'll let you know how that goes but i figured i would try this says use a food processor for the um avocado lime uh, mix um it's actually a slaw but i don't have coleslaw so i'm gonna add it to marine lead lettuce to it later but anyway um i'm going to um get everything ready for this lime slaw and I have everything almost ready, so I'm just going to toss everything kind of in this the manual food processor, which is my new favorite thing in my kitchen. This is so awesome, just for getting stuff done super quick. Um, I don't have everything of all the ingredients, but I do have most of it, so I'm just going to wing it. So sometimes that's just how I do it. So I need a half a cup of cilantro. I'm using the coated utility knife, and I have a prep mat down here. So I need a half a cup of cilantro, so I'm going to guess that that's probably about half a cup, maybe maybe a little more. I have my avocados already ready to go. It's one avocado. This is a pretty big avocado, but I'm gonna put the whole thing in here um, using my mix and scrape, my mix and scraper. That, okay, it says you need jalapenos, but I don't have jalapenos, so to add a little more kick to it, I am going to um, do a teaspoon, maybe a little less of tapatio. And I'm using my adjustable measure spoons that I just got, which are super cool. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that. I don't want to go too crazy on that. So I'm probably not gonna use a full teaspoon, but um, there we go. Okay. And then it says I need three tablespoons of lime juice. So again, I'm using my adjustable uh, measuring spoons. So the tablespoon one now, that was the teaspoon. So four, so one, two, <clears throat> sorry, there's three, three tablespoons, three. Okay, there's that. And then it says I need two cloves of garlic. I always think you can always use more garlic than a recipe says. So I have my cloves out. Um, so I'm gonna put two in here. I'm gonna put three in here, they're pretty small. And I'm gonna use my garlic press for that. Crunch, crunch, I love the sound of garlic crunching. There we go, got it all. And you know, the garlic press is really cool because it has a, um, supposed to be not use the utility, I'm supposed to use a scraper to get the garlic out, get it all out of there. And then it makes it also easier to clean because it comes with a brush that just pops right in there exactly into the grooves to pop whatever's in there out. And you actually can use this with um, garlic, um, full garlic that has the skin on it. Um, and I happen to have some that doesn't, so it doesn't really matter to me. But you can see that all the garlic pretty much gets used in there. Okay. And then next it said use a half a cup of mayonnaise. I don't have quite a half a cup, but I'm using my um, adjustable uh, mixing cup. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm just gonna pop the mayonnaise out with this. I love this, this is awesome. Whenever I can't get out, I'm gonna use my mix and scrape there. And we're gonna get ready to make, and then I'm gonna put salt. When did I forget? I sometimes forget things because I, just kind of go with the flow. And the pepper, and now salt. This says I'm supposed to have a slime mix, but I don't have a slime mix, so I'm probably just gonna use some romaine later. Okay, so mayonnaise, avocado, cilantro, garlic cloves, and lime juice and um, jalapenos, which I use tapatio. So now I'm gonna put the top on of the um, mayo food processor, just like that. You wanna help me, Adriana? You wanna help? And um, I'm gonna move my prep man out of the way. And I'm just gonna mix it. Let's see how this goes. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't know what happened. Come over here. Let's take a look at what's happening in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna just uh, pop that avocado back in there. Mix around a little bit more. I love this because this is so much easier 
than pulling out my food processor, which I love because, um, hope I just got it off kilter here. Let me fix that. Okay. Um, which is, you know, a whole other thing. And here we go. What happened? Oh, the things fell off. That's okay, honey. Okay, so, ooh, we got a nice, oh, this is gonna be so good on the fish. Nice and thick. So it's like a, it's like, a, and, it, um, and I'm gonna pop some romaine lettuce in with it too, so that. So that took less than, you know, more than five minutes to make from top to bottom, so that's good. Mahi coating, that's gonna go uh, in the oven, hmm? So, um, following to the, um, I have a recipe that I got online. And Adriana, you want to come over here and help? Mommy's doing a cooking video right now. Okay, so I'm going to make the marinade first. And the marinade is chili powder. What? Mama. What? Okay, good job. You got it off. Nice job. Okay, so I need four teaspoons of chili powder. So, it turns out I don't have chili powder. I'm out. I did not know that. So, I'm going to use chipotle chili pepper. I think would be really good for the fish. So I'm using my adjustable, uh, my adjustable honey. I'm gonna use only um, two, uh, I'll use three, three tablespoons. Okay, three of that. And then a teaspoon of ground cumin. What? Yes, what? I guess this is mine. Oh, you got it. You did a good job. Okay, move the chair. You can move the chair. I can Yes, you can. So I'm gonna um, use do a teaspoon of the cumin. Get a little overage there. <laughs> I should have took the lid off there. And a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Smoke paprika. Paprika. Which I can't even open. I can't move it myself. Okay, I'll get it for you in a second, honey. Go. Teaspoon of that. Okay. And then it says a teaspoon of onion powder. I have onion granules, so I'm gonna use those. Again, I should be doing this in a separate bowl, but I'm in a hurry, so. There you go. I am not an exact measurer like ever when it comes to cooking. So if you are, follow the recipes exactly. You need to do that, go ahead and do that. I don't do that. Um, and I usually don't really follow recipes either that well. <laughs> Some kosher salt, it says a teaspoon of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, let's see, a teaspoon of kosher salt. Yeah, teaspoon, not tablespoon. So get some of that on there. I use Mediterranean sea salt for everything. <laughs> My daughter is <laughs> just giving me this look. Um, Yes, you can see everything I'm doing here. Sorry, I got things in front of me here. Okay, and then I need two, three tablespoons of olive oil. Mama! Yes, honey. So I'm gonna do, use this for that. One, two, I'm gonna bring her over here so she can help with this. Three, okay. And then I'm going to, two tablespoons of lime juice, back to the lime juice. One, gosh, I'm running out of everything. Two, yep, just barely enough. I don't think I have any more either. Okay, so then it says we're going to mix that all up. So I'm gonna get my mix and scraper. Actually, I'm not gonna get my mix and scraper. <laughs> mix up real quick. Ooh, it looks nice. See how nice that looks? Oh, it's gonna smell good on the fish. It's almost like a blackened. Oh yeah, that's good. I might add some more salt. Which if you don't like salt, don't add salt. We kind of, we, I like the flavor of salt, but there's lots of substitutes you can use for that. So kind of like a paste is what it is. So that's interesting. So I'm gonna, um, I have my oven at 425. So I'm gonna probably pop this in for about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna get my fish. My fish is right here. I need to take it out of the bags, actually. So I'm gonna use my coated utility knife to make that task easy. Like 
this knife is just perfectly sharp just for doing all these tasks. Um, like I said, my knives are older, so they're not that sharp. I didn't rip it all the way across, I should have. Okay, so I'm gonna put the fish in there, get the fish out. She's talking, I don't know what she's saying. Fish, there's one, I'm making three this evening. I don't know if these are any tacos yet or not, but I think I'll have a good combination of options with uh, that slaw I just made, that sauce I just made, which we can add some romaine to, and um, to make it kind of a slaw. I don't think I have any cabbage. Um, and this yummy, awesome flavoring on top sounds really good. This is frozen fish. I don't have fresh fish, so I do thought it. I mean, I do thought it. I thought it. Uh, this day. I missed the cut. Okay, let's go the other way. So, anyway. Okay, so we got our fish all ready to go. I have my large bar pan here, so I'm going to get it. I put my fish on it after I have it all seasoned. So. Hello. Hi, Adriana. Hey, dude. Okay, so let's get our. I'm going to dip the fish in. Oh, this looks just so awesome. I'm so excited about this tonight. I was craving fish. We haven't had fish in a long time in our house. So here's one. And here's another one. I might just baste some more on top after I get them on this pan. Because I'm probably going to throw some um, uh, zucchini on here too and cook that all at the same time because that will cook pretty quick. Yeah, I have, some, I have a, a lot of paste here, so I'm going to add some more paste and roll it around a little bit more. I think this is gonna be so delicious. And I might even, thinking about putting some lemon on top of it, um, just to get an extra boost. I love lemon with fish, I just think it's so delicious. I'm excited to see how this pan cooks. I haven't used it yet, um, but somewhere it's supposed to be great for fish. So, okay. I'm gonna probably add a little bit more of that sauce on there. Oh, that looks yummy. Does it look yummy? What do you think? Does this smell good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. Yeah. Let's just get a couple slices going. God, this, mm. kni this knife. Gosh, this knife is just so wonderful. I just love it. Can't wait to get the rest of my knives from Pampered Chef. They're, they're just fabulous. I'm gonna throw some lemon on top. Um, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon actually too. I just always think the more lemon you have, the better. Anyway, it's such a great topper with everything. Okay, put some lemon on there. I'm gonna squeeze some more lemon on there. And then I'm going to pause for a moment. This is lemon? And grab, yeah, that's lemon. Mm -hmm. And grab um, the zucchini. Grab, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna add some zucchini. So I'm gonna put it in my quick slice. Um, <laughs> To the two pieces of my quick slice. I just cut the zucchini ends off with my coated utility knife. And I'll go that way actually. And I'll be around this cooking beside me. Um, I think I have everything all lined up here. Okay. And let's cut the zucchini, zucchini in a second. I didn't have it lined up. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, oh, here we go. There we go. Okay. And so with that, I'm going to take my pan with my fish on it and just quickly add my zucchini on here. I'm going to cook this all up for about 15 minutes. I'm going to throw, I would throw a little fresh basil. Oh, I could actually. I still have fresh basil. I think I'm going to do that. Let's do a little um, brush of olive oil on top of the zucchini. Just a little olive oil, just to give it a nice little hang. And then a little bit of fresh basil and get my basil out. 
I don't know, I just love fresh basil. I just think it's just such a nice add. Get my chopper shears out. This was a last minute add, so I was not planning on doing that. Um, so let's just chop up some basil on here. Um, you know, I'm gonna do it over here first and then just move it so you can see how easy it is to cut the basil. I'm just gonna add it on top of the zucchini as a nice little add. I'm gonna throw some cherry um, tomatoes on there with some olive oil. And that is gonna be dinner tonight. Okay, just throw a little basil on here. Basil on there, which I just think is just gonna be a nice add. And then I have some cherry tomatoes I'm just gonna throw in there. So I just think cherry tomatoes just are just delicious Ooh. always. Oh, yep, so does Adriana. She just took one. Uh, it's funny. Okay. Uh, and then just kind of just a little lemon all over because I think lemon always helps everything. And do a little bit more salt. Optional salt and pepper. You might not want to do that. And that, and then with the little salsa for the fish, that'll be dinner tonight for our family. Okay. And you cannot see anything. I see I to work on my videoing skills. So this is what's gonna go in the oven. I'm gonna put it in the oven for, I think 15 minutes probably. I'll take a look at it at 425 and dinner will be ready. And I'm excited to see how this cooks on this gorgeous, uh, this gorgeous uh, our pan. Take this out.